When winter comes to Yellowstone National Park, it does not come gently. It is a time when most animals struggle simply to survive. But it is also a time when one animal truly comes into its own, the gray wolf. In driving snow, a pack of wolves closes in on an elk herd. And when they finally arrive, it is a hard-won meal for the pack, one that they will be allowed to enjoy in peace. Since being reintroduced back into Yellowstone in 1995, the wolf has both conquered and competed. Competed, that is, with the reigning king of the park, the great grizzly, and at times conquered. But as spring in Yellowstone arrives, a mother grizzly and her cub have emerged from their winter den only to be greeted by driving snow and something more ominous, wolves. There is no love lost between Yellowstone's top predators. But a frantic mother bear is nothing to toy with. She could break a wolf's back with a single swipe of the paw, but she can't risk being led more than a few yards from her cub. Finally, the wolves lose interest in bear baiting and the mother and cub go their own way, unharmed while the wolves look for easier prey. This scenario is at the heart of one of the controversies surrounding the reintroduction of wolves to Yellowstone. Elk numbers seem to be holding steady, while at the same time, fewer calves seem to be surviving to adulthood. Local sportsmen who can legally hunt elk who stray from the park don't want competition from wolves. But wolves are hardly the only hunters of elk calves. In fact, this angry mother has already lost her newborn to a grizzly. Yellowstone Park Ranger Doug Smith explains. There may be competition between wolves and grizzly bears for elk calves. But it's interesting because one day in Lamar Valley this spring, uh, our team observed two elk calves killed by wolves, two killed by grizzly bears. The calves are fleet and agile even at this young age, but the deceptively lumbering grizzly can reach a top speed of 30 miles an hour, about the same speed as her prey. The grizzly has her own little one to feed, so when the grizzly wants a wolf pup, it knows exactly where to find them. Oh yeah, it goes back a ways. The narrow entryway, for the big chamber at the end. It might go uh, at least 16 feet. An entrance that probably a grizzly bear couldn't get down, but a mm -hmm. chamber that was pretty roomy and comfortable. The wolves themselves are now long gone, hanging out at what's called a rendezvous site. However, harm is never far away, as pups and cubs are always fair game. For in the wild of Yellowstone, competition never stands alone.